Hello friends, I am Apurva Vashish, Assistant Professor of Biani Group of College. Welcome to you all on behalf of the Guru KPO. I am going to deliver the lecture on pulley from the subject mechanics. From my pre previous lectures, I have delivered the lectures on lifting machine, also the pulley uh, introduction and also the first order system and the second order system. Now it's the time to get, uh, have a watch on the third order system. Uh, from the previous uh, first order system and second order system, we have seen that there is a fixed rigid uh, ceiling, uh, fixed uh, pulleys which is being attached to the ceilings and some movable pulleys and a weight is being connected to any of the moving pulleys and then the velocity ratio and the mechanical advantage has been uh, calculated. But in the third order system, what we can see is a pulley is attached to the uh, ceiling, one single pulley is attached to the ceiling and the second is attached to that seal, uh, that pulley and the third is being attached to that symbol, uh, the moving pulley. But the, all the three are connected to a rigid base where the velocity, uh, where the weight is connected. Usually in the last two uh, orders we have seen the weight is connected towards one single pulley not to a rigid base. But here the weight is considered to uh, connect towards the rigid base and the rigid base from the rigid base the three pulleys are connected. So the rope used in the three pulleys are different, therefore the tension applied in these ropes are also different. Usually in the last two orders we have seen that uh, the rope which we use is the single and therefore the tension all over the rope is also the, sing, uh, is also the same. But over here we have seen the rope applied over here is different and also the tension applied and the effort applied is also the different. In the first pulley, if we consider it from the ba uh, from the base, we have seen the effort applied from the last pulley is P, and therefore the tension all over the pulley is P, uh, which is connected towards the load. Also, the, when the other rope is attached to the uh, last pulley, it, the tension over here is 2P, and the tension which is same all over the rope is also 2P, and to the third, the rope, uh, the tension over here is 4P, and also the rope, uh, the all over the rope is also the 4P. Now, if the weight is W and the effort is P, then the effort, the weight on the effort, uh, the weight all over the weight or the load which we have seen will be P plus 2P plus 4P. That is P plus 2P plus 4P. Why? Because the whole weight will be equals to the tension applied to it. Uh, like we have when the uh, when while I was explaining on the lecture of my lifting machine, I have seen the weight will be equal to the tension applied towards it. Therefore, the weight will be equal to all the tension applied towards it. That is P, 2P, and 4P. Therefore, the weight will be equal to or the load will be equal to P plus 2P plus 4P. Therefore, the weight upon P, that is a mechanical advantage ratio, will be the seven. Therefore, in the idle condition, I have already told you, in the idle con condition, the velocity ratio will be equal to the mechanical advantage. Therefore, the velocity ratio will also be equal to 7. In general, if we see the formula for the velocity ratio for the third order system, we will come to know that the velocity ratio will be equal to 2n minus 1. How come? And the n will be the total number of pulleys over here. If we see, the number of pulleys over here is 3. And we put the uh, put the value of the 3 over here. Then 2 raised to the power 3 will be 8. And the 8 minus 1 will be 7. Thus, we get the value of the velocity ratio or the mechanical advantage. And thus, here we end the topic pulley. And thank you, thank you, thank you for listening my lecture. For further details and the further lectures, you may log on to our website www.gurukpo.com. Thank you very much.